being placed on the state's new marijuana laws. This summer in Colorado, there's a different type of Rocky Mountain High, a higher number of the homeless. I knew a couple of people who were like, yeah, I'm from Texas. I'm just here smoke. The St. Francis Center in Denver started noticing the surge in January, shortly after Colorado started allowing recreational marijuana. Now the homeless shelter is seeing an extra 50 to 75 people a night. Certainly the increase of people has something to do with the passage of the marijuana laws. What brought me here is because just I was able to just smoke pot freely. 19-year-old Jacob Janice moved to Colorado from Arizona five months ago. People here have a very open mentality. And you're able to be who you want to be and get high just like if it was tea time. So far, Colorado and Washington are the only two states that allow recreational pot sales. 23 states plus Washington, D.C. allow medical marijuana, even though weed is still technically illegal under federal law. Now, a blunt editorial in the New York Times is urging the federal government to drop that ban for people 21 and over. The paper argues that marijuana is less dangerous than alcohol and that it is long past time to repeal this version of prohibition. The debate is lighting up, even at the Times itself. Columnist David Brooks on Meet the Press. I don't know what they've been smoking up there. They go to the office, the haze is <laughs> Back in Denver, the head of another shelter says the new influx is stretching already thin resources. The legalization of marijuana has an impact beyond what we can or would have guessed. Unintended consequences from what Colorado's governor has called one of the great social experiments of the century. For today, Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News. Complicated on the number.